Hi, this is King of Review. The following graph solves the system for which two equations? So when you look on the graph, you see a parabola and a line. So we're trying to determine the equation for each of these functions. Let's first look at the line. One method for writing the equation of a line is slope-intercept form. This is y equals mx plus b. Where m here, this is the slope, and b, this is the y-intercept. So we have our line here. Let's take a look at the slope and the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. So where does this line cross the y-axis? Well, it crosses right here at 4. So we know that b equals 4. Now let's determine the slope. Slope is equal to rise over run. So if we find another point on our graph right here, Let's calculate the slope between these two points. Slope is a rise over run, so it's going up 2, so the rise is equal to 2, and the run is over 1, so it goes up 2 and over 1. So 2 over 1, or 2, is the slope. So let's piece that together in slope-intercept form. y equals the slope which is 2, times x, plus the y-intercept, which is 4. So we now know the equation of the line is y equals 2x plus 4. Now let's look at our parabola. A parabola can be written as a vertex form. The equation in vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. When you have an equation in this form, vertex form, the vertex of the parabola is at the point hk. Let's look at our parabola here. Here's the parabola, and the vertex is right here at this point. What is the coordinate of this point? This is 0, 3. So we know that the vertex of our parabola is at the point 0, 3. So the hk value is 0, 3. Let's fill this into the equation in vertex form. y equals a times x minus h, h is 0, squared plus k, and k is 3. Now let's simplify this. We have y equals a x squared plus 3. Now we need to figure out what a is. To do this, we can find a point on our parabola and plug it into our equation to solve for a. So let's find a point on the parabola. Well, we have a point here at 2, 7. 2, 7 is a point on our parabola. So let's plug the point 2, 7 into this equation here. So we have y equals a times 2 squared plus 3. This gives us 7 equals a times 4 plus 3. We'll subtract the 3 on both sides, and we get 4 equals 4a and dividing by 4 on both sides, we're left with a is equal to 1. So we know that a here is 1. So our equation for the parabola is y equals 1 times x squared plus 3, and this can be simplified to y equals x squared plus 3. So our two equations are y equals 2x plus 4 and y equals x squared plus 3. So letter B is correct. Thanks for watching.